What's up guys, my name is Chris, this is Sharp AF, and today we're taking a look at Battle Box Mission 96. The first item in the basic box is the Fisher Space Pen with an OD Green Cerakote made in the USA. So this pen can write in just about any condition, including upside down, underwater, extreme temperatures, and even in the vacuum of outer space. What if you're just a dude in his basement? writing on a piece of paper. You'd think it would work, but actually, no. The Fisher Space Pen requires a certain minimum amount of G-force and adrenaline in order to eject the ink out of the cartridge. So if you're not living an exciting, action-packed, adventure-filled lifestyle, the Fisher Space Pen might not be for you. In all seriousness, I'm really excited to try this out. I work outdoors, exposed to the elements, and sometimes pens just suck especially in cold temperatures or if the piece of paper you're writing on gets a little bit wet, it's just game over. So hopefully this will come in handy and the OD Green Cerakote finish looks really nice. The next item in the basic box is the Mimetic Zips, Z-Zips, I'll go with Zips, two pack wound closure kit. They're kind of like an alternative to stitches for closing a wound. They're definitely a nice thing to add to your first aid kits. Kind of like a band-aid with zip ties. You put the sticky sides on either side of the wound with the wound in the middle, and then you pull on the zip ties and it kind of cinches that wound shut. You can use multiple in a row if you have a really long gash. I used one of these for my YouTube short video. I'm about to use another one right now for this video. So hopefully I don't cut myself with the knife of the month or else you guys are gonna feel really terrible. And the last item in the basic box is the UltiClip 3 Plus. I think most people in the EDC community and the BattleBox community probably are familiar with UltiClips. But essentially, it's a really nice, inexpensive, low profile and easily concealable sheath clip or holster clip. They have really good retention as well. And if you've never used an UltiClip, keep this one around and I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Sometimes the clips that come with knife sheaths or holsters for other things aren't that great or maybe they're too bulky or they don't come with one at all. So an UltiClip is an awesome solution. Also made in the USA, by the way, and I'm not entirely sure what all the differences are between the 3 and the 3 Plus and the original UltiClip. Maybe somebody in the comments can let us know. But that right there is the basic box. The advanced box comes with the Climate Everglow LED light tube. This thing is freaking awesome. Super compact and portable. Comes with a nice little pouch here. But basically this just unrolls and then you inflate it. I want to see if I can do this in one breath. <laughs> Whew! Almost blacked out there for a second. I guess this is also a nice visual representation of how much air is in my lungs. You know, I've never bragged about my lung capacity before, but uh, it's pretty voluminous. So this doesn't come with a power source. You've got to use your own battery pack, uh, but it works, I'm assuming, with probably any USB power bank. So just plug it in, and then it's got multiple settings on here. Oh, that looks cool. So you can decrease or increase the brightness. And it kind of diffuses the light a little bit more like a lantern. Probably a little bit better for ambient lighting than just like a flashlight beam. And what's cool is you can attach it to stuff. It's got a little loop right here, so you can just hook it with a carabiner or something. And then I think it also has magnets throughout. So pretty cool for tents and awnings, vehicles. I think you get the idea. The Pro Box comes with an item that was featured all the way back in Mission 20. So you old timers are getting a repeat. I wasn't a battle boxer back then, so I'm pretty excited to check this out. This is the Zippo Axe Saw, a multi-tool camp axe that features a hatchet for chopping and a mallet. This would be nice for driving your tent stakes. I normally just forget a hammer and use rocks. And it's also a saw, and the saw blade can be stored inside the handle, so you can just pack it like this and have everything ready to go. So to put on the saw, you just take it out of the handle. You've got to use the axe cover and line up that hole right there. And then one of these holes goes over that part right there. This hooks on right here. And then you close the cover and screw it tight. And then also clamp that shut. The cover for the axe 
acts as a handle for you too, so you've got a good place to grip. So there's always the argument, would you rather have several tools that each do one thing really, really well, or a multi-tool that does several things mediocrely? Honestly, I don't know how well this will perform and I'm excited to try it out. And overall, I think it's a really cool idea, especially for somebody like me who is always forgetting things. Now I only have to remember one thing instead of three. It also helps save on space and cost. Definitely a handy, convenient camp tool. 420 stainless steel on the axe head, polymer handle, and a 15 inch hardened steel saw blade. And the Pro Plus box or knife of the month club features a Taurus fixed blade. A word I do not know how to pronounce. The Taurus Torero? I speak Spanish, I don't think that's Spanish. It might be Portuguese. It could just be English. I also don't speak English very well. But what we have here is a really cool fixed blade from Taurus. It comes with a nice leather sheath. And man, this thing, it smells so good. I know that's a weird thing to point out. Man, that is some fine smelling leather. It can be carried horizontally or vertically with the sheath. And check that out. Really a decent sized blade. Nine and a quarter inches overall. Full tang with a four inch blade. D2 steel with a satin finish. Good looking swedge on there too. Kind of a recurve going on there. So it's gonna hold on to what you're cutting really nice. Contoured G10 handle scales with a little bit of a finger groove right there and some nice jimping along the top. You can really get locked in nice. Overall, I think it's a pretty sweet knife and a very good fixed blade for battle box. I will say the factory edge on mine was not the sharpest, but you do have a nice blade shape and a nice grind to work with. Not that big of a deal for me. I think it's pretty sweet overall and you've also got a 90 degree spine. There you have it guys, that is BattleBox Mission 96 for February. If you're thinking about signing up for BattleBox, I've got a 30% off refer a friend link that I'll put down in the comments. Also, if you're shopping around for knives, I've got all sorts of knife coupons and affiliate links, including a bunch of new ones, by the way, and some of those pay commissions, so it saves you some money and also helps support the channel. And I truly do appreciate you guys for all of your support. I'm not threatening you with an ax, I'm just, click the links. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching.